Welcome to the Reverberations Podcast, where we explore the human experience and the journey of self-discovery. What's good, everyone? Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Reverberations. This is your host, John Stewart. As always, it truly is an honor and a pleasure to connect with everyone on this platform. And today's topic is you can't be the doctor if you don't have the patience. Patience provides us so many opportunities for growth. Presence, being with what's in front of us, letting go of unhealthy attachments and expectations. As quoted by Aristotle, patience is bitter, but its fruit is sweet. Patience may be bitter, though it doesn't always need to be that way. We get to curate our life with each and every single choice. Being consciously aware of the potential outcomes of our choices is enhanced by our ability to patiently trust in the unfolding, the mystery. Trust is built. Truth shows up over time, every time. The power of patience is that it is the path of confidence, of trusting ourself. And the more that we trust in ourself, we store that energy. It's like soul fuel. And when the appropriate time comes to initiate action, we are able to efficiently and effectively act from our soul's yes and our heartfelt desire. And when we recognize that the world before us is a reflection of our most dominant thoughts, which influence our choices that have been colored by our experiences, we become more and more consciously aware of our patterns. And what I found is that it comes down to the power of choice, the choice that we make when it matters, that moment where we empower ourselves with choice and we recognize that it's so powerful our energy and attention is placed on the yes or the no the this or the that the on or the off it's an integral part of embodying our soul's yes and heartfelt desire integral part of embodying our soul's yes and our heartfelt desire lies in the power of choice. If we give ourselves permission to be more aware of our thoughts, patience is one of the first lessons we encounter. It's much like a game of pinball at first witnessing our thoughts bounce from here to there, following our consciousness and our thoughts is the next level of following our breath. The practice of breath awareness allows us to build our strength and develop that sense of patience that is required to then witness our thoughts. There's a deeper level of personal responsibility when we begin to be consciously aware of what we're thinking. It's where the game has changed. It's where alchemy happens. It's where we reclaim our personal power. And that's why patience isn't to be put in the same conversation as laziness or just going with the flow. Patience is an active process that through practice, we embody it as a way of being. As we develop greater and greater patience, we are developing such a trust in ourself. And the effort that we put into being more mindful of our thoughts and our choices is energy incredibly well invested. Our life shifts, there's no question about it. We become consciously aware beings and we start to consciously evolve. We start asking ourselves questions 
What information am I taking in? What am I saying yes to? What am I putting into my body? There is so much vying for our attention. And with everything moving faster and faster, gifting ourselves moments to connect within is alchemical gold. We harmonize our being. Our whole health, our mental health, our physical health, our connection with all that is. Sound mind, sound body, sound spirit. When we tune in and we gift ourselves that moment and we harmonize our whole being and recognize and utilize the power of choice, we can dial in to our optimal state of well-being in the moment, continuously, and have a reminder, a reference point. We can recharge, revitalize, even if it's in that moment. And the more and more that we have patience with ourselves in the journey of self-discovery, in growth, in success, in our health, in whatever it is that has that subtle tug with integrity and grace. Our souls, yes, our heartfelt desire, our greatest vision. And yes, with any strength, there's an opportunity for growth. Apathy, laziness, procrastination, waiting. And one of the most clever weavings of this is in Dr. Seuss's Other Places Will Go, where he talks about the waiting place as the most useless place. And here's an excerpt that speaks so incredibly well to this. You can get so confused that you'll start into race down long wiggled roads at a breaknecking pace and grind on for miles across weirdish wild space headed I fear toward a most useless place the waiting place for people just waiting waiting for a train to go for a bus to come or a plane to go or the mail to come or the rain to go or the phone to ring or the snow to snow or waiting around for a yes or a no, or waiting for their hair to grow. Everyone is just waiting. Waiting for the fish to bite, or waiting for wind to fly a kite, or waiting around for Friday night, or waiting, perhaps, for their Uncle Jake, or a pot to boil, or a better break, or a string of pearls, or a pair of pants, or a wig with curls, or another chance. Everyone is just waiting. There's a stark difference in the energetics between patience and waiting. We don't have time to wait. The time is now. The journey is ours to mold and not get caught in the waiting game, to live while we're alive and allow miracle to follow miracle. Our unwavering trust paves the way for us to accept the path of transformation with patience and with open arms. And as we do, we begin to embody our soul's yes. And the beauty of all of this is that even though the journey begins within, it's so much better together. Thank you all once again for tuning in to another episode of Reverberations. Truly is just an incredible experience to share this time and space with you. To be able to share 
what is on my heart, to be able to share guests that are passionate, that are intentional, that operate with integrity and are of service to humanity, to all in creation. So if anything in this podcast or any of the previous episodes inspired you, touched you, moved you, share this with your social media, share it with your friends. Let's reverberate and spread the love. This is how we can co-create a more sustainable and harmonious coexistence with all in creation. Let's amplify our love. And remember, we are better together. Have an amazing day. As the sun rises, we wake each day with a question. You know what that question is, don't you? The one that rests in the cavities of your subconscious, playing out and see, knocking at the temples of your conscience. It's not so much the question, it's that you know the answer. You know, it's right there. You could just about touch it, taste it. I know you've been there. Yeah, you've seen the light. That inner glow from the depths of your soul, it's calling out to you. You too are a seeker. For the beacon that shines inside, are you ready to take it to another level? High above the sky, yet deep within your soul. sky, yet deep within your soul.